Hi, so I will present today Game of Coins, which is a joint work with Edith Kedar and Moshe Tenenholz. <laughs> so in the game, we have coins. Each coin has a reward, and we have miners, each of which has mining power. <laughs> miners choose where to mine, and they can change their mind at any time. Each coin, each coin divides the world among, 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 the minor, among the miners that mine for it, uh, such that, such that mi the miners' payoff is proportional to their power. Okay? And we assume rational miners, which means that they will always change their mind if they can, if they can increase their payoff pay by doing so. So in this example, Carol can gain more by, by switching from Ethereum to, the, to, to, to Litecoin. Okay. So as a motivation, um, <coughs> there are many sources in, the, in, in online where, where, uh, where miners can actually compare between coins in respect to the hash rate, the power, the daily cost, and even profitability. So, so we, we, we know that is, it, it, it actually happens when, when, when miners switch between coins based on where they can make the most profit. And one, one example happened in November, in November 2017. <coughs> When suddenly, suddenly the price of the, the Bitcoin price in, in USA dollars went down, and then the Bitcoin cash price went up, and we can see that immediately in, in the same day the hash rate, the the mining power, the mining power, in, in Bitcoin decreases while in Bitcoin cash it, it increased dramatically. So so we learned that because the price of Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash changed, miners from Bitcoin migrated to Bitcoin cash. And they immediately went back when the price when the price of Bitcoin recovered. <laughs> okay, so so now let me let me let me give, let me make the model a little bit more formal. So we assume a system Q that consists of a set of coins C and a set of miners pi. Each miner has a mining power M i, and where S Q is a set of all possible configuration of the system Q such that every, in every configuration, each player chooses, chooses a coin to mine for. So in the example in the slide, S1, uh, you, can see the, you can see S1, you can, you can see the configuration S1. And we denote by, by S.P the coin, the coin that minor P mines for in configuration S. In this example, S1.P5 is S2. It, it, sorry, is C2. <laughs> okay. So some more basic notation. So we, den we denote by PCS the set of miners who mine for coin C in configuration S, and by MCS the total mining power of, mine of miners in PCS, the total mining powers of the of the miners that mine for C in configuration S. <laughs> okay. So so in this example. Um, the total mining power of the uh, MC1 S1, the total mining power of the miners for, for, for coin C1 and configuration S1 is M1 plus M3. Okay. Okay, so, so we, with, with the system Q, which consists of pi and C, we can, we can define the game, which also consists, which also contains a revolt function F that maps coin to revolts. <laughs> and given this function, we define, we define uh, the payoff function as follows. For every configuration S and, play, and minor P, the payoff UPS is the reward or uh, is the reward the minor P gets in configuration S, F of S dot P times MP, which is, the, which is, which is P's mining power divided of the, of the total mining power of the, of the coin P minus four. Okay. Now we say we say that the player moves when it changes coin when it changes coins, <laughs> and we say that the move of a player is a better response than not, is a better response is a better response step if it increases its payoff. And accordingly, a, pay, a, a player is stable if it does not have a better response step, and the configuration is stable. Or the configuration is a pure equilibrium if all players are stable. Okay. <laughs> we also say that a better response dynamic is a sequence of better response steps. Well, each mine, each minor, each player, each minor has a has a step one one at a time. Okay. 
So let me now present our result in the, results in the paper. So in the first result, we show that every game has an equilibrium. Then we show that every, every, every better response dynamic leads to an equilibrium, <laughs> which means that it doesn't matter what is the initial configuration. And, 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 also, and also for every schedule, it doesn't matter who of the miners move first. If we let the players move in, in, a better, in, a better, in, a be, in, in their better response, they, they will eventually end up in an equilibrium. In our third result, we show that in almost every equilibrium, there is a miner that prefers a different equilibrium. And then after, after that, a natural equation that arises is that can miners manipulate the system to move to a better equilibrium for them? Okay, and, and, and in our fourth and main result, we show, a, 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 we design a mechanism that, that for any scheduler, and allow, 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 allow us to, to, to move the system between any two equilibriums. And the only thing we allow is to temporarily increase coin rewards. And in, in, in a real world, we know, we know, that, it can, we know that the coin rewards can, can be temporarily increased by, for example, proposing very high fees, or uh, look what happened when Elon Musk bought, bought a few Bitcoins. So, so, <laughs> So, so, so we think we, we, it is a reasonable assumption, and, um, and 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 we show and we show that we can indeed move the move the system between any two possible equilibriums. In a nutshell, what we do is that we start from some initial initial configuration, we increase we increase some of the rewards, then we let the players converge to a, to, a, to 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 a, to an equilibrium but second but second results will show that any better response dynamic converges to an equilibrium then then we change the, we change the rewards a, a little bit again and again let the system converge to an equilibrium and we continue doing so until we end up in the desirable equilibrium and we also show that we, that it, that, it, that it will be always be the case <laughs> So unfortunately, I do not have time to explain how we achieve the results in more details, but if you are interested, I, am, I encourage you to read the paper. And uh, thank you.